your boy you. I'm Margaret. And this is Can We Talk About It. I we didn't record it for like did we a year. It all we probably, this year? Reco- we <laughs> probably recorded last year's wrap up. That was probably the yeah, last year we recorded. That's pretty crazy. Look, it's been a pretty wild year. Yep. I think while we were going through and doing Oh sorry, this is our New Year's roundup, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, <laughs> yeah, yeah. welcome to the New welcome Year's. Welcome to the New Year's roundup for twenty twenty two. Um, I feel like when we were going through, we realized like this has been a pretty like chaotic year, like an unhinged sort of year. Too much happened, yeah. honestly. Quite a lot. Yeah, we had yeah. to like narrow down this list, but we're gonna give you twenty two things. That happened in twenty twenty two. But you know what? I felt like it was a cool thing because I just was like, you know what, we're all back outside this year and we're all, you know, back outside doing outside things. All right. So our first topic is accountability for cheating. All right, so we have a lot of people in this category. Uh, we have T.J. Holmes and Amy Roback, which you might know as as the hosts of what show on CBS? Um, Good Morning America. Oh yeah, I think. that one. Yeah. Yeah, one of them. And then we had um that dude from the Try Guys. I don't remember. I feel like his name was Ned or something. Um, the Try Guys is the show that originally started out on BuzzFeed, and then I think they kind of separated and did their own thing. I really don't know what the premise was, but apparently it was, like, super big. And then this one dude who was a, quote-unquote, wife guy, which was, like, the term of the year. Let's call him Ned. I think that's his name. He was found to be cheating on his wife with someone who was on staff. Because we also had the former (laughs) Mr. Nia Long and Nia Long. Mr. (laughs) Nia Long is crazy. Yeah, his name isn't important. But um, that's a better way to to, to kind of describe him. Out of these three scenarios, um, I got to say... TJ Holmes and Amy came out of it strong. They actually are still together. They are. They're right? they spotted both... in the airport in Atlanta. Yep, yep. They both cheated on their significant other uh, with each other, lost their jobs because because of it, and said, might as well keep going. Like, they, they seem strong. happy, though. So Yeah, no, that's true. Shout out to them. Everybody else, you failed. Yeah. You failed in your marriages, your relationships. But um, it was so interesting, I think, to see this year how people were facing consequences in the workplace for having affairs, but it was because they were workplace affairs. Nah, it was out there, and yeah. people were actually facing the consequences. Yeah, which is a good thing. Stop shitting where you eat. Come on, we've been on this, Facts. all right? And we really learned it in 2022. We also, this year, were keeping up with a certain someone whose name starts with K. Kanye. Kanye. Um, where are we keeping up with him? Because he seems to be doing a lot. I think yeah. he's one step ahead of us at all times because mm-hmm. he just finds a way to put himself in another controversy and another controversy. Controversy uh, with K. <laughs> uh, speaking of K, uh, it started off with him and Kim Kardashian. Uh, and Getting she- could divorce. <laughs> <so> they- <laughs> yeah, they're- She was the first person that I ever heard uh, do this, but she filed to be legally single. I did not even know that was a thing. He was really dragging out that divorce. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, could divorce. Um, and in the meantime, he was also dropped by Adidas for anti-Semitic comments. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, he had been saying wildly inappropriate things about black people for a few years now um this year he had a white lives matter fashion show Mm -hmm. um with uh candace owens just you know in the cut hanging out supporting as she would if you had asked me in like 2011 these would never be in my kanye cards cards with a k cards Yeah, Kanye, Kanye went off the rails, it's um, sad. and he's yeah. been going off the rails for about twenty years, but it's fine. Yeah. We've <laughs> we passively watched we, we, on we, the we, sidelines, right? and this year he was like, "You're gonna pay attention." <laughs> My, the funniest part of this is that people think Kanye's a genius of the way that he's getting out of contracts with his anti-Semitism and, and contracts with a K. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it at that. But speaking of our moment number three, you mentioned Kim Kardashian declared herself legally single. And as all legally single women do, she immediately dated Pete Davidson. What is uh, what is it about him? He, I don't know. Would you date, He's date a, Pete Davidson? Would I date Pete Davidson? I mean, I don't know him. And they're saying it's a personality thing. So I feel like I'd have to, I'd have to get... You heard it here Sorry, first. Pete. Margaret would date Pete Davidson. But all I'd right, have she... to get to know you, Pete. Sorry. Sorry. Right, I think everyone wants to know what the hype is about. Yeah, and I think he's just going on this spiral where he just keeps going and going. But hey, man, I'm not hating. One person we are hating on moment number four, um, Elon Musk, who uh, bought Twitter, and there was like immediate like a negative reaction and backlash. Are you on Twitter? I've never gotten into Twitter, uh, so I really didn't I care don't that tweet, much. But I, I, you be there. Yeah, I'll be lurking. Apparently. 
he made it such a distasteful place to be that a bunch of people left Twitter because of him. And he put out a poll where he was like, should I step down from being, you know, head of Twitter? And people voted majority yes. It was, it was, it was like the presidential election was closer than this polling thing. It was like something like 57 to like 43. I don't know if that math maths, but it was that kind of yeah. split. And 57% said that he should step down. And I was like, this might be the man who unites our country in hate. You know what? <laughs> uh, actually, another poll went out after that because Snoop Dogg said, should I be the new CEO? And that poll was like 83% to like wow. 70. It was, it was pretty up there. So, um, Honestly, Snoopy doing everything else, so why not? I mean, I think that's the only thing left on yeah. his list to accomplish. Be president. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've seen him At like on jet Twitter. skis. I've seen him like jump out of planes. I've seen him on every single t- show on, on TV. Uh, and also, yeah, he's had a rap career. I don't know if you guys knew about that one, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Why not? Somebody else who's hoping to be back on top and announced so this year, Donald Trump. He wants to run for president again, um, in the next presidential election. Um, unfortunately for him, thanks to the findings of the January 6th committee, he might be banned from doing so because it's possible that he led an insurrection against this <laughs> <laughs> Wild times. <laughs> um, you know what was the interesting thing about Donald Trump? It was always entertaining. As much as it was horrifying, it was always always entertaining with him. So I want to just really know: Do you think someone can be president from jail? Like, I feel like if anyone can find a loophole, it'll be Donald, Donald Trump. He's found loopholes in the tax code and several laws because he's not in jail already. Yeah. Um, maybe I think even he though be... he gets arrested, he might still be able to be president. President of the people's hearts, if the people we're talking about are from the greater Appalachian area, but nowhere else. (laughs) That's what I... 2024 might be scary, but that's okay because we have a whole year buffer in between. So let's not worry about it till later. Sounds like a problem for future us. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Yes. No, we'll make it that far. Uh... (laughs) <laughs> anyway <laughs> moment number six 2022 was the year of the elephant what do i mean by that oh the vengeful <laughs> elephant all right if you don't know, have not followed the story this is probably my favorite story of this year this elephant this indian elephant right uh <laughs> he he actually trampled a woman we death. don't have to make it racial yule it, he's from india he, is a <laughs> he trampled her but then he went to her funeral Yes, he ran back the fate. So, first he killed her. <laughs> um, and as she had a funeral, days or weeks later, maybe, um, the elephant, uh, as we say in the hood, spun the block and came for this lady yet again to then trample her again at the funeral. Um, it is unknown what the lady did. Yeah. Um, it. I really want to know. I think it's been a burning question in my mind all 2022. And if anyone has the answer, please let me know. But um, I feel, personally, like she deserved it. I don't really have all the evidence, but for an elephant, for someone, let's, let's, let's put this in terms of people, for someone to kill you, then go to your f- funeral and try to and kill you again you when you're dead, you did something. Don't they be saying, isn't that the expression, an elephant never forgets? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so he was remembering something. We just don't know what it was. All right. If elephants could talk. Move on to a more wholesome moment. Our hearts were captured this year by internet sensation Tyreek, who you might know better as Corn Kid. Yes. Um, I, too, love corn. Yeah. Not as much as Tyreek. Um, you didn't want to include this woman on the list. Why don't you like Joy, is my question. I like corn. Right? <laughs> you but don't I like don't kids? I love corn the way that he does. It was. It's yeah. a little bit obsessive. He might need some hobbies. <laughs> He has a hobby. I know, and it's and he make a lot of money off of it. Listen, I'm I'm very <laughs> proud of him for for succeeding in life. All right, but um, I feel like when he's 35, right, and just sitting off the ain't you the corn? And he's gonna be like, all right, yes, it's me, the corn kid. He's probably gonna be like a spokesperson for like you know cream corn or something. I really want to see the progression um, of, of how his career. career turns out. Me too. Um, I'm interested. To I want to know at what point he's gonna be sick of corn, because he's like what eight now. Yeah. When he's 18, will he feel the same? We'll have to do like a 10-year check-in. All right. Yeah. 
Uh, ten years from now, can we talk about going to do a check in on the corn kid? Somebody who maybe also needs some hobbies, maybe some anger management, maybe some extreme counseling. Um, Will Smith. Will Smith, like you know, you always seem like a nice guy. Will Smith, <laughs> for every year until this year, was like America's sweetheart. That he kid, was. yeah, he's he like was the number he one. was Tyreek. He was our Tyreek the corn kid for years. <laughs> we all loved him. He slapped the ever loving shit out of Chris Rock. Whose side were you on? As a married man, I was on Will Smith's side. That's what I was curious about. Yes. Yeah. I too. Would have slapped the shit out of Rock. As a comedian. <laughs> as one of the greatest comedians of our time. I had to say Chris Rock. So I, like, you can't take a joke. Yeah. I get it, though. I get it. I get I get the inclination to protect Listen, people you love. This is my thing. Any one of my friends could have said that joke to my wife, and I would have took it well. But if we're not friends like that, right. you gotta we get don't know their relationship. <laughs> Yeah, um, he has that movie Emancipation coming out. We'll see how it performs. We'll see if he's Teflon well. Yeah. Um, when you get, you know, in a controversy, I don't think the best option is then to go create a slave movie. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Moving on to other controversies in moment number nine. Um, we had a number of, like, headline-making trials this year. We had Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. We had Meg and Tori. We had Harvey Weinstein. We had R. Kelly, who then released an album from prison. Who let that happen? Who let the same, that happen? The same committee that's going to let Donald Trump be president from prison. So <laughs> there it goes. Coming full circle. First yeah. off, great news for some people, right? Because yeah. R. Kelly needed to go. Harry Weinstein needed to go. Tory Lanez was found guilty. Yes, right? he was. So he needed to go. Yeah. Uh, Amber Heard also needed to go. So shout out to everyone else that I did not name. Uh, it was just a weird, congrats. but it's always weird, I think, to see how, like, involved people are in these celebrity trials. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the intensity with which people take sides and, like, care, and I'm like, we don't know these people. Have day a- star! <laughs> Not the day star I know! In other, like, pop culture news this year, we had Black Panther, Wakanda Forever come out. Yeah. Yes, yes depressing um, oops yeah it was a great movie but also depressing I, I thought the movie was excellent um dr umar went on a rant because he saw the movie i right? did not hear about this oh my god this is the funniest thing ever dr umar um said he saw black panther he took his kids to see black panther and he was complaining about how the underwater mexicans were stronger than the than the actual black panther who they came to see and it was it was just not a good movie or a good look for us. Um, I think when you start analyzing Marvel, Marvel movies to this level... You're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. Yeah. Um, but also hilarious. Great movie. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. Um, and shout out Chadwick Boseman. Right? We miss you. Are some peace. And your legacy goes on. So that that's actually awesome. We also had Britney Spears freed from her conservatorship. And she got married. Congrats. Yeah, congrats, yeah. Britt. Um, I think it was about time. She's Yeah. We haven't seen her for quite a while now. But she, we have seen she be posted her. like sporadically on social media. Um, unfortunately her relationship with her son seems a little bit strained. And yeah. I yeah. mean but I wish I, the best for her. Yeah, wish you the best um, for her. Um she did a lot for pop culture, right? Mm-hmm. And I think definitely deserves to see the benefits of that. She's been through a lot. So yeah. I just wish Brittany the best. We also had news from another pop star. Um, Rihanna got pregnant by her somewhat known rapper boyfriends and had that baby. She Don't do that ASAP baby. like that. I... He was very known. He was in the news because he was in jail in Sweden. <laughs> Everyone knows. All right. We did hear a lot about Swedish prison that I've heard is quite nice. Yeah. 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 But yeah, congrats to Rihanna. She got pregnant uh, back early in the beginning of the year and had her baby. Mm-hmm. Just about a month ago. Um, yeah, and then they had that whole thing where like the pic, the photos got leaked, and she was kind of upset about it because she had wanted black media to be able to do it first. Um, mm-hmm. I know what she could do though; she could she could release that album to black media first. But, you know, that <laughs> would would be crazy. Yeah, she's also gonna be um, headlining the Super Bowl with what, um, with what music? Exactly, that's a good question. <laughs> 
she is gonna come and do some old hits. Or work, she's gonna work, 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 do work, work, or we're I'm gonna ready. get a great rollout in the next couple of months. She got the baby out of the way. ASAP's at home taking care of the baby as the stay at home mom that he deserves to be. <laughs> and we gonna get Rihanna back out in these streets. I love it. I love this for us. So okay, question, because you haven't you don't watch football anymore. No. If she drops a new album and she re- she um performs it at the Super Bowl, you watching the Super Bowl? Yes, for Rihanna. For I will. Rihanna. I'll make that sacrifice. All right. Wow. That would be a cultural reset. Speaking of football, Tom Brady, the GOAT, as some say. I don't watch football, so I don't really care. He retired, but then he came back. Um, He came back, um, but also in the midst of that little retirement, it seemed like he had a lot going on in his personal life. Right, right. Um, and got divorced this year as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so he dropped one ring to try to go pick up another. <laughs> and let's see what he could do. Yeah. Well, I, I, don't, I don't follow football, but I've heard bad i heard this is the worst season probably ever i also ever. heard that yeah yeah should have stayed retired and married brianna back out to the streets and tom brady we want to send you back home Come brianna's on. gonna be in the super bowl and tom yeah. brady's not that's, <laughs> that's, that's actually awesome. really funny <laughs> not performing at the super bowl but top touring artist of 2022 bad bunny um that's, yeah. really, that's really it. He was the top touring artist of 2022, which I do think is so impressive because, you know, it's a completely Spanish language album. Um, and I wonder if that's the first time that a non-English language album has been, like, the top touring one or one, that's of, a good question. one of the top albums, which it was this year. Um, I think he was also Spotify's top streamed artist. And I wonder yeah. if it's the first time that a Spanish language artist or any artist that's not English speaking was. I did see him in Mexico. So, yeah. yeah. How was that? It was really cool. I don't know Spanish like that. Right? I, I can understand it more than I can speak it. But I will pretend to know the lyrics if it's playing loud enough in the club. All right? Yeah. That's what Here you gotta go. do. Wait. Do, is there a Bad Bunny song that you feel like you kind of know? Just off hearing it enough? Um... Spit a bar right now. Anyways, for our next topic, the other Britney was also freed. <laughs> Britney, right? Two Britneys freed in one wow, year. Wow, what a year. What a year, folks. We free all the Britneys this year. <laughs> if your name is Britney, get out there. We're right? coming for you. <laughs> we will free you. Yeah, if you're no. in a toxic situation, time to go before the end of the year, Britney. <laughs> Got Talking a couple days. You, you got a couple of days. Yeah. All right, but um, yeah, Brittany Griner was freed. Um, she was, was arrested in Russia for having a very small amount of yeah. weed on her in a vape pen. And, and you um, know what's crazy? I saw so many people go, "Oh, when you're in another country, you got to follow their rules." First of all, we actually don't know if that was planted on her, and I say that because Russia would have motive to do that. But let's say it wasn't. I felt like everyone who was saying that, I was like, "Y'all be flying with cocaine." Like, <laughs> <I'm> like. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, I know you people. Like, yep. don't don't be doing that. Don't be acting like you don't be flying with stupid things that you shouldn't fly with. Holier than thou. Mm-hmm. Um, Real self-righteous. But yeah, like, even even let's say that was the case. She could have still been deported back to America to be sent to all that, all that right. kind of stuff. But she was used as a political pawn. Let's, yeah. Let's really call, what say, it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. call a spade a spade. Mm-hmm. Um, and... I'm very glad she's out. Yes. Um, the conditions seem very rough. She did not have quite the time ASAP Rocky had. No, it was um, no Swedish prison for nah, her. <laughs> no, she was in the she was in the gulag. Yeah. Uh, she was in the fucking trenches. Yeah, that shit looked rough. It was even to a point. I think her her dreads were freezing because yeah. of the conditions. That she had to shave her hair. Like that's bad. Where's like. Where's the last? Where's like the place that you absolutely would not want to go to prison? Russia. That's literally it. Yeah. No, I think me too. I think. Um, Let's see. Where else? Where else? Uh, North Korea. North Korea sounds but, terrible. Yeah. America also sounds pretty Man, bad. I know America's pretty bad, uh, too. <laughs> a nice little reunion this year, I guess. Um, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck um, once dubbed Benifer, but it's a new era, so you will came up with a new name for them. Yes. Yes. It's Jenniflick. Jennifer. That works way better. I don't even know why people went with Benifer. Like, well, because that's both of their first names, and what you did was you took her first name and his last name. See what no. I mean? Yeah, you. No, because Benifer is just like her name with a B. Like, but you it's just, also you just take his one... name because his name is Ben. No, it's stupid. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. stupid. My name's better. <laughs> All right. Benifer or Jennifer? You decide. Yeah, vote. We'll do a poll, but. um... 
yeah, they they got back together and they got married. Which is crazy. It's real TV. Is this the first, second, third time they got back together? Like, this was only, this was the first time. They they just broke up once and got back. They together. broke up once their engagement, then they got back together like twenty years later. Um, and it was crazy because I feel like around that same time that was when the Taliban reinvaded Afghanistan. Uh, so it was a real early two thousands moment all around. Wow. Do you feel like you'll take any of your exes back in twenty years? I don't. I hope not. <laughs> How much time is enough time for you to take your exes back? I mean, I, just, I don't know. I just hope I would never do it. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all also tell us that. How much time is enough time for you to take your exes back? I guess Jennifer- it depends on what they did and, like, why you broke up in the first place, right? I mean, that's, like, let's say they, let's see something extreme. They cheated or whatever. Are they, they're not the same person anymore in 20 years. Like, I mean, what if they are? What if they just been cheating the past <laughs> 20 years? <laughs> so the queen died. Uh, Beyonce died? Shh. Don't even, don't even say that. Don't even put that out there. <laughs> Knocked on some wood. And this is this, The same was also wood if you want to. This is wood? Yeah. Some weird ass wood. Yeah, this is what why? Jewish people do. Poop, 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 poop. What is that? I'm Jewish. <laughs> what you, for what? You're like pulling away the, the bad spirits that you put on Beyonce's name. Poop, poop. You said it. No. All right. Listen. Queen Elizabeth d- passed away this Why year. Why did you say that? You said the queen. <laughs> queen Elizabeth passed. Um, but you know, more importantly, so did so did Take Off. Yes. Um, so did else. Sydney Poitier. So did Coolio. Yeah. 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 And then a lot of other people. You know. A lot of. Dearly beloved, yeah. Important people. people. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, uh, um, rest in peace. Hope everyone's families are doing okay. Um, I'm glad the murder of Takeoff had actually been found. I know. You know so. Because it seemed for a minute like that wasn't going to happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. At least some justice is going to be served right. in, in that regard, so. Yeah. Right? Shout out to the Migos, uh, one of the best rap groups of all time, mm. um, numbers wise. And I, I hope. Quavo and Offset are doing okay as well. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully, like, reconnecting and stuff. Oh. Yo, that was crazy. You know what that just reminded me of? What? Abortion was federally outlawed this year. That was my uh, (laughs) birth control alarm. (laughs) And I labeled it, abortion is federally outlawed, so take your birth control every day. (laughs) That is a big one. That yeah, we, did we not totally have on our forgot list about it. We didn't even put it right on the now. List. So we have yeah. 23 things for you. <laughs> yeah, in 2022. <laughs> Maybe we can, let's combine two. So these are, we're going to combine Atlanta and Avatar 2. Nothing, <laughs> nothing to do with each other. <laughs> no, we, we <laughs> can combine uh, Atlanta with uh, Take Off and Offset, and what we just talked about. Okay, there yeah. We go, bam. Speaking of Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta, the series, it was in their final season this year. Um, actually, final two seasons. Yeah, year. yeah, both se- both the seasons, both three and four. Yeah. Um, I think Atlanta is actually like a, probably my top five all time. Shows. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, what was your favorite season? Based off like the episodes, I think the black and white episode was very creative. Um, yeah, I liked. People were divided on those little like side episodes. I liked those. Oh yeah, no, I, yeah. I loved I loved each and every one. Mm-hmm. Um, I think though I don't remember if it's season one or season two. Whatever the um BAN Network episode is, probably still my favorite. Where they oh, had yeah. uh random commercials yes. throughout the episode. I think that's still like my top Atlanta episode. Yeah. But as I watch it again, I'll let you guys know. Yes. Yeah. Definitely a rewatch. Okay. Um, something you didn't like and hated Avatar two. You didn't even see it though. I didn't see it. Yeah. And I'm not going to. I don't plan to see it. You yeah. know why? Because Avatar 1, despite what all of you think, the majority of the world or whatever the box up office numbers think, it was a shit movie. All right? I uh, didn't even see it. Good I for you. Um, it I actually it's was the like. Hype. I'm different. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them. Tell them. But um, that movie, like, you know, was probably like one of the number one grossing movies of all time upon its release, right? And everyone I've asked. And I'm asking this right now, viewer. Be honest with yourself. What was that movie even about? It was visually stunning. I will give it that, right? Yeah. You know, 
I heard, like, you know, it had a alright comp concept. No one can tell me how the movie began or ended. Right. And I've asked several people at this point, um, so if you can, and if you want to defend this movie, please go for it. But there's no way I'm seeing Avatar 2. Yeah, I feel like especially because what everybody always said was that it was visually, like, incredible. But at during, like, now, who cares? Like, that's... That's the regular, standard. yeah. Yep, video games are awesome. Right, every movie is great. CGI has gone, has leaped leaps and bounds. Yeah, so everything looks great. Um, that's that's just not gonna cut it anymore. Yeah, for me. no, that's facts. Okay, so neither of us saw it, but we're not recommending it. <laughs> okay, so moment number twenty. Um, this was a really big year for female rap, right? Yeah. Um, we had Glorilla coming out. A great talent out of New York, Ice Spice, right? Who, uh, really, the crazy thing, if you leave New York, I said the crazy thing, like this, is, it, you can't believe it, but if you leave New York, Ice Spice is really not appreciated um, anywhere else. They will not play her. They don't know who she is. Um, pretty wild to me, because the young lady is a New York icon, but... Margaret dragged it. Um, Ice Spice <laughs> is barely appreciated here. She does have a one it or two now. She has two songs, yeah. That are, you know, doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, clearly not globally. No. But, yeah. shout out to her, she's still a young talent. She is. But I will say that New York has all the best female rappers. We do. Um, including, of course, Nicki Minaj, though she is quite problematic. And of course, this year, she got into another little back and forth with um, Lotto. And I don't even know what that was about. And it was sad because Lotto was like a fan. Mm-hmm. And said, you know, I was a fan, you know? Why is that the pattern with female rap right now? Because Nicki was a fan of Little Kim. They got into it. Somebody's a fan of Nicki. They get into it. What's going on here, I don't think it's here, a bro? pattern in female rap. I think it's a pattern with Nicki. Like, I think Nicki's... Oh, yeah. She's the middle. Yeah. Like, she's, she's the center of all of it. Yeah. Wow. I'm always going to love Nicki Minaj. Like, I have to. You know what I'm saying? Which, what you're saying is now we should love her from afar. Yeah. And she might need some like counseling. A toxic ex that you just, you know, always care no, about. I, think, I still think she's she's pound for pound the greatest female rapper. She's great. She's great. She's super talented. Yeah. So it does kind of feel like the world is ending at all times uh, since 2020. But if it does, we have some men out there who are bravely attempting to repopulate it. And they're starting early. They're, they're doing it now just mm-hmm. to show us that they can. Um, Diddy's putting in work. Diddy is putting you in know, work. He, he actually, just had a surprise baby. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He had a surprise baby. It was called with another woman like days after his baby came. Yeah. And is still, I believe, actively involved dating. with Young Miami. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. He, he out. He outside. Yeah. Um. He's like, look, I'm outside, but I'm still gonna be a father. He just um, he took a picture and put it on Instagram. I think with his six kids now. Yeah. Um, including the baby. Um, yeah. And but. Can't compete with the king. We already know who we're referring to. Um, Nick the King Cannon. Yeah. All right. This man has a baby for every state in America. He And he is the new Genghis Khan. It's just, you know, he's, he's just putting it on his back. He's, he's taking up the responsibility. But it's also getting a lot of backlash from right. pretty much everyone right. about being able to take care of these kids. Right. Even Which, though, you know. Financially, obviously, he can, but it's more like. Can he be there, you know, emotionally for them? Um, probably not. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> like no, right. Yeah. Not, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, they said there was this thing that was like in 2022, you can either date Pete Davidson or have a baby with Nick Cannon. Those are the only two options. Pick. I was going to ask you to pick. We don't, we don't align I'm ourselves married. with Jack. I'm married. <laughs> I'm very married. I'm sorry. I um, wish I could choose, but I choose my wife. What about you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm afraid of childbirth, so I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go with you, Pete. Good luck to you, Nick Cannon. Yeah, we wish you and your and families your <laughs> best of luck. Yeah, and finally, we come to the top moment of 2022 the most unhinged the most chaotic the most outside it's not even a moment it's a man yes. and this year was his moment yes. right man of the year moment of the year yeah um yule's very own cousin eric adams our mayor he's not my cousin um, <laughs> i'll start with that 
if anything, he's a distant uncle, <laughs> right? <laughs> and because of the transatlantic slave trade, I'll never know. We just have the same last name, right? So <laughs> Eric Adams is really that guy. I'm yo, sorry to say, he right? He might not be a good mayor, but boy, is he a good party promoter. Yeah, yo. He is out here. He had he had not only a hot boy summer, but a fuck boy fall, and I'm gonna say like an icy boy winter, and then way back before that he was having like a like a sim sim of spring, <laughs> like he he's been having a time, he's been having a time. Can't no. be mad at it, except we can't be because he's our elected official. <laughs> can't be mad, but also can be living. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like if he put as much effort into like making new policies and changing things for New York as he did into um, standing on the bar at at One Oak, I think <laughs> we can we can really tra- go forward oh, as yeah. a city. Oh yeah, no, his policies that he has come forth with have all been wildly controversial, um, largely unpopular, right? Um, but boy, does that man know how to party? Would you go out with Eric Adams if he was like, "Yo, cousin, we out." Would you go out with cousin? Yeah. yeah. I would go out with Eric Adams, absolutely. It looked too fun to miss out on, honestly. It's so and true. I'm just like, listen, the magic going out, what are you going to do, get arrested? Like, we're going to be drunk. <laughs> like, yo, ah, yeah, we outside. Yeah. Oh, we crashed the car. All right, just clean that up. Don't worry yeah. about it. We'll take care That's of it. True. Yeah. yeah. I, I, would, I would definitely go outside with Eric Adams, 100%. Yeah. And to me, Eric Adams, he did embody this, what this year was all about, you know? we Chaos? Chaos. <laughs> and fun <laughs> and maybe not doing the job right yeah but trying no but uh, no i agree with you he didn't buy what this year was about being back outside right we had back many outside. years of pandemic uh behind us now yeah um and to be honest i feel like that's why we didn't even really record this year we were so outside <laughs> Like we were still chilling just as much at one point we were going fact. out every weekend that is i was seeing you like probably both like Friday and Saturdays. That's very true. But we were just not recording. We were just <laughs> bad host, great party people. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to party with us in 2023, woo! Let's go. It's, Keep it it's going. amazing that we didn't run into Eric. I know. I actually, I actually did see him once. Oh, family reunion. Work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was our wrap up for 2022. We will see you more in 2023. That's a commit. Yeah, That's a New Year's sure. resolution. For sure, for sure. Right? All right. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Uh, we'll do some some reviews. Yeah. I think we'll throw out there. Maybe uh, go to some pizza spots. Mm-hmm, definitely. Um, maybe release some things that need to be edited. Yep, yeah, right in <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be a good year. For sure. Yes. All right. Wishing you all the best. Um, we love you. Bye.